What are you doing here? You should know that Karen and I are bound by our marks. I can feel her presence, no matter where you take her. Mire, I'm only doing this for you. You know that your body won't last much longer, but with her energy that won't be a problem. Oh, I see. To you, my sister's already dead. Mire, it was only by my doing that you became Maiden. Without her energy, your power would be cut in half. Infusing Karen with a mark of light, I could transfer her power. Making your powers absolute. Kill my sister? How could your mind be so perverted? I had no choice. You understand the heritage we must uphold. The Makunas have always had powerful maidens in their bloodline. Had I known the price, I would rather have sacrificed myself. You just don't understand, do you? You are just like your mother. She pitied this child and took her away from me before I... I heard she was killed by wild animals. So I never imagined she might still be alive. Father, please stop this madness. It cannot be stopped now. Your powers as maiden will soon be complete. Transferring Karen's life energy is all that's left. No, never. You will not sacrifice my sister! You are wrong. No. The Divine Maidens will remain Makunas as they always have. I'm sure Karen would understand. Right, that's enough, old man! You gotta be crazy to kill your own daughter! How dare you? I shall make sure you bother me no longer. Mire, you would stand against your father. Father, please, just open your eyes. If you do not understand my love for you, then I will make you understand! Ah! Ah! Uh, uh. No, no! What have I done? Mire, speak to me! No! No! No, I couldn't have! <laughs> Stay right there! Ethan, I knew you couldn't do this alone, so... Huh? Light Master Rutsu, Lord Doggy. You have been accused of horrible crimes I would never have believed. Until now. This... this is a personal matter. It does not concern you. You've done harm to one maiden, and are now attempting to kill another. Your sins are grave indeed. I find you guilty. You... you will not judge me. Next to the Divine Maiden, you are nothing! No one shall interfere. Let me take care of this. Very well then. Go. I'm right beside you. And don't forget about me. 
say your prayers! Just might be my ideal partner. Karen! 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 Ethan. Your title is forfeit, Lord Doggy. Mire! 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 No use. Her time is near. Mirai. 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 My sister. Mirai. You should never have come. This is all my fault. Not at all, sister. I owe my entire life to you. You gave me everything. And now, it's my turn to give back so you can live fully. Mirei, I'm so sorry. I never had a chance to be with you like I'd hoped. My sister, please don't cry. We are but two halves of a whole that can never be parted. The light will bind our spirits and together we'll shine with a love that knows no time. Yes. No matter where you are, no matter where you go, I will always be with you, by your side. Think of me and I'll be there. I know. We will always be one, no matter what. I love you. Mirai. Mirai. Mirai! <laughs> huh? 
Long time no see. Yeah. How are you feeling? Okay. I was worried when I heard you quit the Guardians. I didn't know what to think. Sorry. I meant to get in touch with you. Don't worry about it. You're here right now. So then what did you want to talk about? There was something I needed to know. Yeah? Like... like what? This! <laughs> Are you insane? I missed your final days of training, so I wanted to see how strong you've become. <laughs> you asked for it! Let's go! I give up. <laughs> <laughs> well? You've grown strong. There's nothing more that I can teach you. Karen? After today, I will no longer be myself. What? What do you mean? I've decided I'll become the Maiden in Mire's place. The Maiden? Only a few people know about Mire's death. And no one needs to know what I will do. The Maiden... is the very symbol of love and communion. So I will carry on the torch. And I do so willingly. Karen. Karen Era is no more. From now on, I will be known only as Mirei Mikuta. Please. Thank you. Goodbye, Ethan. Karen. To follow a lead that may end the seed threat, Ethan is ordered by Obel Dalgan, the Guardian's president, to head to Melvor. What lies in the center of the Melvor explosion? Ethan and his companions will soon find out. Next time on Fantasy Star Universe, in Melvor's Wake. <laughs>